Hey guys, so got my new horse here. This is gonna be our first session. Um, haven't done anything with her except for trailer loading yesterday. So I want to do, I don't know, maybe a bit of a demo. It's not gonna be like how to start a colt necessarily, more of a highlight reel. Um, Mark and I are planning on making a colt starting DVD, first ride type stuff soon. So hopefully we can get that done. But I wanna kinda of share her journey with you guys. This is gonna be my next rope horse. She's already five years old. She's cute. I like her build, I like her size. Um, so for what I wanna do, we're gonna see how quickly we can bring her along in the roping. And you can see she doesn't really understand my space already. But, um, so today, first session, we're just working towards getting the first ride. So for her, I, I want to keep it simple. I try to keep it simple. I think people are masters at overcomplicating things. So I'm going to kind of take some moments to give you some tips on what I'm looking for to get one going under saddle. So I've heard she's been saddled a couple times, but she's never been rode. So um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure she moves out. We're going to turn her loose here in a minute, make sure she moves out. Second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we can get a saddle on her and she'll stand still for it. Then we're gonna make sure we can put something around her girth and she'll stand still for it to ensure we can get that saddle on and secured before she has a problem with it. Um, then the next thing we'll kind of make sure she can move out with the saddle and we'll make sure when we pick up the rope, she gives her hind end. Once we accomplish those things, she's pretty much ready to ride. So. We'll see how much we get done today. First things first, let's turn her loose. Let's move around. You know, sometimes I use a whip. Sometimes I use a flag. Normally I don't have to do much though. So let's just check this out. One thing I'll tell you guys is today, I don't care which, which way she turns around. If I ask her to switch directions and she puts her butt to me, I don't care. She's in first grade today. So we'll, we'll get to little things like that over the next few days, maybe next few weeks. But today, I just want to get some motion and be able to change her direction. So far, she understands how to be moved around. She understands my verbal cues. So I'm just gonna practice this a couple more times then we're gonna go to the next thing. So far, she looks like an athletic kind of feely mare. She's kind of aware of stuff. She's made a few athletic moves. So pretty cool for a performance horse. It looks like we've got something that's probably gonna work pretty good. She wants to turn away from me. Not a big deal right there. I was just working on going that same direction. I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. Whip the ground really hard. Like I'm just gonna be persistent. So she didn't like that way very much. So I'm just gonna practice it just a little bit more here. Not bad. It looks like whoever's done the round painting with her, Scott, are kind of understanding to look for the human there. Um, so she was brought in, unhalter broke. Oh shoot, I think it's about two and a half months ago. So I think the girl did a good job of getting her started, uh, getting her gentle, getting her used to people. So now we're gonna catch her and we're gonna go, gonna go to the next step, which is getting her ready to put the saddle on.
I'm gonna go ahead and use my flag for this next part. I like my flag a lot. It's a good simulation for putting something up on her. It makes noise. It's, and she can see it. So we're gonna go to that, and you'll probably see her be a little bit unhappy about it, but that's all right. That's part of the deal. She's starting to understand this flag's not going to hurt her. It can come at her right there. And um, so that's a good start there. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say about that. Yeah. You know, I'm just trying to show her right here that this isn't going to hurt her. You know? One of my things with colt starting is I don't want it to be 47 steps to get these horses started. I want to keep it real simple. Oh, the other thing I was going to tell you, part of what we're working on is that hind end. When she gets bothered and I pull on the rope, she moves her hind end. That's showing me when I go to get on, there's a high chance, even when bothered, if I pick up the rope, she'll move her hind end. And that's what we need to have a good first ride. So that's good there. So we'll go to the next step, which is checking on that girth. We're gonna make sure when we kind of snug something up right here, she doesn't think about leaving. So we'll just start soft, rubbing that around. Now I'll pull it up, good. And I release it pretty quick. When I first start this, I'd like these horses to think it's not going to last forever. You know, that little squeeze, it's going to go away. Don't panic. You do it for both sides, not a bad idea. I'm gonna do my breast collar around her chest so I kind of reach around to see what she thinks of seeing my hands over there. You know, if she's gonna panic about that, it's not too bad. So next step's gonna be the pad and then we'll check the saddle out. I'm actually gonna have to pause it real quick because I forgot my cinch. All right, we got the switch. We got the old cinch swapped out on the saddle. So that'll be ready when get there we'll start with this pad um, I start pretty early kind of moving it around pretty normal um, if I've got to go a little slower with one I will but I'll put that on I'll feel their girth area pad it a little bit you know as you're getting these horses started you're trying to read them See how they're going to respond when you get to that next step.
Oh, I got a phone call, so you missed the good part. Well, I mean, I put the saddle on. You didn't miss anything, but we just got saddle on, and I moved her hind end a little bit, and then I was coming to talk to you. So I get the saddle on, I try to move their hind end without causing them to buck so I can get it tight enough so I can turn them loose and just let them figure it out, feel it. I don't mind if they buck. I'll kind of walk you through what I do if they buck, if she does want to buck. Try to figure out this saddle on her own. Now she's worn a couple times, but but I'm just going to treat it like a first saddling. Get this poop out of the way so she doesn't spread it out. and they want to just chase them and I mean maybe after a few days if they still want to buck you could add a little pressure there but I think this first day they're still trying to figure it out stop and you pet them like if you're doing a first ride or two speed them up let them stop and pet them and just encourage that slowing down we get a lot more relaxed horse by the end of the, the first week you know so giving her this time she's licking and chewing she's not happy about the saddle but I mean when you're going to school you got to wear a backpack so we're getting her started the first day understand to come back but then I also want her to balance that out so I don't want her to lope off and hit the brakes so there I loped her let her fall out of gear loped her let her fall out of gear loped her and then I rested her so I did three of them and then I gave her rest so the last one when she loped and I backed off a little she didn't just hit the brakes she kind of slowed down so that's what I'm working on now you know it progresses quickly early on what I'm looking for in this five minutes might be completely different in the next five minutes. So we're just progressing the horse we've got in front of us. Three times. 
times. All right now we're gonna change gears. We're gonna capture her and we're gonna see about maybe where she's at in terms of this flag, patting the saddle. So what I'm gonna test, what I need to know before I get on is that if she panics, can I get her bent? Because if I can do that and she has forward motion, we should be able to stay safe up there. But if she goes to bucking and she about pulls the rope out of my hands, well, I wouldn't get on one like that because I'm not strong enough to bend them. So I want to make sure she understands. Even when she's bothered, even when something happens, like today it's like 45 degrees, feels like 38, it's chilly, you know, the wind was blowing, it's died down, which is nice. But I want her to understand, even when she's scared, she's got to give to that lead rope. And that's how we're going to keep her safe and us safe. So we'll go see if we can get a hold of the lead rope and play with that a little. Yeah, she's got a lot of setbacks in her. 
that's more dangerous than one that wants to run off forward because I wouldn't want one to panic and tip over backwards. I'll kind of get her ready for stepping up in this stirrup if we can. Good. I would expect her to try to take her nose and run the other way. And if I've got to step down, then I will. Good. That's a start there. Try to do it again, see if we can break her feet loose. my foot right here. Good, I'll pull her nose. Good. There, I'll step down and bring her forward. I'd like her to think forward instead of back. Good girl. Might see me out of that other eye. Good. So this is like a half ride here. We're not fully committed. I'm going to tap her butt. Ask her to step. Good girl. Good. Now let's check out the other side. That's, that's getting really close to riding one. Like, that's a really good test if you can get one road. And so it's something I always do before I get on one. Good, now pull her nose, tap her butt, if I can reach it, there we go. Bring her forward here, good, and that's bringing her back down, no problem, oh, better make sure we stay in the screen. She's trying to be good, she's trying really hard to be good, but she says, this is not how I interact with humans. That's good preparation for getting on one. Pull her nose. Good. Good job. Way to go. She's 
like, by golly, you are on both sides and you're petting me. Oh my goodness. Cool. Now we're going to try to get her, get this rope switch to the other side. You've all seen the fancy way to do it, which is to just flick it over. Well, I'd rather not get bumped off today. So there's other ways to do it. This is going to bother her a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get it done. I'm going to just pick up, try to get her feet stopped. Release them every time. There we go. There we go. I'm going to flick that on her face. Drop it down her nose. She doesn't like it, but I'm still short on my left side. So because I stay short on my left side, I can still get her bent to the left. Now when I commit to the right, I'm going to pick that nose up and get her bent all the way. Right there, I'm just going to take her. She wants to get a little bothered. I'm I'm committed. I'm going to break her hind end loose. Good. Real good. Give her a little second there to think about that. Like, hey, you're all right. Let's break her. to back me off I'm gonna pull as hard as I need to to get her bent. Ask her forward. I'm gonna pat her butt. Good. Oh this way she doesn't want to show you guys anything. Okay we'll turn her forward. Good. See if we'll free her up. See if she'll offer a lope this way. you're heading this way okay so you guys got to see a little bit of kind of how you know this is a touchy horse and we got a first ride done because we're practically professionals She goes, 
I bander? Why do I bander? Banding a horse causes less motion. So if you've got a horse that doesn't want to go and you keep bending them because it makes you feel safe, like good luck loping that one because the, they, that bending them makes them not want to go. There, we're swinging about five foot out. You see her confidence go up. Might take advantage of her pooping and swing a little more. That's all right. Good girl. You can see her confidence go up because when she gets bothered, I support her, I bend her. Good girl. Okay, so now we're gonna get ready to step off. We've lost both ways. That's all I need to do. I don't need to do much more than that, so I'll rock around a little bit. I'm always gonna step off the side my rope's on and I'm gonna try to land up by her shoulder. Like that. So, you know, I hope that helps some of you guys. I understand some people are gonna be offended because I didn't do the 48,000 steps to a first ride, but you know, my level of understanding the last few years has really changed. And so I love my job. And especially when I do it this way, now this horse is yawning, you know, and this is not abnormal. Like what the way I do things, these horses, it really resonates with them because everything has a purpose. There's another yawn. Everything has a purpose, you know? So we'll get this horse going. We'll try to share it with you guys. Um, and um, yeah, we're looking forward to her and seeing her in the roping pen. And so we'll, uh, I'll go ahead and leave the camera on while I get her unsaddled. I think, let me think, total elapsed time. I think we're about 35 or about maybe 40 minutes in. So we spent 40 minutes, our first day with her. We got a nice first ride. She's happy, I'm happy. You know, this is, this is what we're doing it for. You know, some people might say, oh, she shut down or learned helplessness. And those are fun words, but you know, when you put purpose to what you're doing, your horses don't get in that state. When you do the same thing every day and the horse is bored or you force them through some scary spots, I supported this horse. You know, we had a good first session and you know, I'm, I'm thrilled. So I'll leave the camera on while I'm saddle her. I might do it and uh, fast forward, but um, I'm gonna try to get her prepared to unsaddle first. So I'll pat on the saddle and I'll rock it around. And if she's solid, I'm just gonna take it off. You know, I want her to, um, be a little, I want her to be pretty happy with what we're doing. So hopefully she does it. One big thing, sometimes they'll spook at this breast collar as it switches sides, but you know, we'll try to go slow and help her understand it's no problem. Good girl. She kind of looked at it. I just petted her. You know, I used to kind of jerk on horses right there. Like, Hey, don't look at that. But you know, we're trying to support these things. Oh, didn't quite pull off what we were hoping for, which was a easy uh, unsaddling, but we'll just hang with her here, get it done, try to keep our saddle and our horse safe as best we can. I try to have them ready enough they're not gonna get bothered right there, but you know, this is horse training. Sometimes they're not sure, so that's okay. You can also jerk it straight off I prefer to come over here and put my cinches up like I'm always going to do. And then I'll just take the saddle and turn away from her, throw it on the ground. Normally I carry it to the fence, but I just want to stay in frame. And thank you guys for watching. And hopefully we can show you a little more with this lovely lady. All right. Until next time, get in a jam, just bend it.